What's going on, everybody? This is the Blockchain Backer, bringing you the latest cryptocurrency news and analysis. And today, it's a Official Bitcoin has broken out into a new all time high, cracking above $60,000. So, today we're going to take a look at the Bitcoin price chart, but we're also going to look around at the rest of the altcoin market because there's interesting things going on there. This is something I was really hope hoping that would happen because if, if we just kind of like meandered sideways, as you guys know, I'm looking for alt season to begin. But in 2013, the thing that I keep suspecting that we're following along with. Uh, Bitcoin did break above the all-time high before the alt season got kicked off. Then by the time Bitcoin rolled back over and then uh, kind of closed the gap up in here and then started marching forward, that's as the altcoins really disconnected from Bitcoin. So I'm excited to see that Bitcoin got up here. There's no longer that worry anymore. You cannot say this is a retrace anymore. It's officially an all-time high. That's exciting. We'll kind of dive into all of this and what I'm talking about with that here in just a minute. Another exciting thing to see over here in the cryptocurrency market Market for the altcoins is that ethereum just now got through its last fibonacci retracement level so that kind of had me on edge a little bit watching that ethereum was not able to crack that last one it got right there to the 786 wasn't able to take it out but boom it's official all fibonacci retracements have been now been taken out for the second largest cryptocurrency in the cryptocurrency market the total market cap for all of cryptocurrency is now at an all-time high and now looking at the total altcoin market cap it looks like we're watching it break out into the new all-time time high as I'm recording this. There it goes. New all-time high for the total market cap of all of the altcoins. Obviously, we still have our laggards that are not there above the all-time high, but still a positive sign for the whole market. But in this video, we'll talk about why I'm excited to see Bitcoin at a new all-time high. As a lot of you guys know, I rotated out of my Bitcoin. I jammed it into the altcoin. So, well, I'm not exactly massively benefiting from Bitcoin being at an all-time high. But for me, it comes back to playing the entire market cycle. That's what I'm here to do, do the whole market cycle. And for me, a part of that has been rotating out of my Bitcoin, getting into the altcoins before the alt season starts. And and riding up the altcoins, which in my opinion are going to massively outperform what Bitcoin will do. As we've been discussing, my opinion is that Bitcoin's top could come in as low as around $68,000, $67,000, top somewhere up there near about $81,000. That seems to be kind of the golden range for me of where I believe Bitcoin's top is going to come in at. And in each market cycle, we have seen that the altcoins do catch up to Bitcoin, especially as it approaches the end of its parabolic rise. On the screen, right here I have what happened with Bitcoin before it went on to complete its 2013 bubble top and we had a massive correction that took place similar to what we just saw right now similar to what we saw at the end of the 2017 bull run and then the altcoins all pulled back 40 percent we've been going through that over the last couple of weeks discussing that how these altcoins all pulled back about 40 percent during the Bitcoin pullback but if you'll notice as Bitcoin pulls all the way back and then as it retraces back up it has its breakout above the all-time high right Right over here and it's not until it rolls back down to kind of close this gap that we really see the disconnect happen right there where the altcoins all really took off. Until that moment, the altcoins kind of just acted in, in the same behavior as Bitcoin until that pullback actually happened. So that's what I'm looking for right now. I'm really happy to see this actually get above the all-time high because now we can just rule out every single one of the retracement ideas, right? It gets beyond 618, 702, 786. Well, is it just double topping? Boom, breakthrough. Just like in 2013. So remember, everything is continuing still to go just like 2013. Earlier this week, we talked about that 2017 fractal, but I'm definitely not placing my bets or putting all my marbles in on that one. That That's what we're doing. I don't know if that's even a term, maybe putting all my eggs in that basket. <laughs> because this market has still behaved just like 2013 with Bitcoin breaking out into new all-time highs, not taking the altcoin market with it, having reactions at Fibonacci retracement levels, and still looking just like it has. This entire correction in here mirrored what occurred back in there, and then same thing, breakout, no altcoin rally to go with it, breakout with no altcoin rally to go with it. However, we do see at the end of the market cycle that there is an altcoin season right in there. And that's what I'm anticipating right now. So yikes, it's getting really close. I can tell you as being somebody who was in the 2017 bull run, if we did do something like this, and if the altcoins did behave in a similar fashion as that, 
a lot of altcoins still didn't take off during this whole movement right in here. It wouldn't have been until up in here that the altcoin season would really take off and that Bitcoin was still the showstopper throughout that whole time period. Once we got in here, some of the alts did take off like Ethereum and Litecoin. However, some still remained complete laggards during that whole time period, and it wasn't until the very end that they all blasted off, but those blast-offs were absolutely ludicrous. But one thing that has always signaled the top of the Bitcoin bull run, and that's what we can just look for, right? If we're looking for where's the top coming in, the top gets marked by the altcoins really breaking out and going crazy. So there hasn't been a circumstance in Bitcoin's history where the top comes in and the altcoins weren't going nuts. Once you see those altcoins going nuts, that's a really good sign that the Bitcoin top is coming in very soon or it's already in. So long as the altcoins are still just sitting back, waiting, not going yet then that top of Bitcoin likely isn't in yet. But I know a lot of people would love to see the price go even higher, right? We always get the, especially when you start seeing that the top is maybe coming in sooner, we want to find hopes and wishes and dreams that it's not over, right? It's going to keep going higher. It's going to get even crazier. But still, I'm leaning back on this still, and I'm, I, I'm not going to change my mind until it becomes invalidated, that we're getting really, really close especially when I did my rotation out of Bitcoin, when I did expecting for it to occur where it happened, it did happen, had the same structure on the pullback, same structure on the rise up with the break above the high, and those altcoins pulled back 40% at that same time period, right? It's not like they pulled back 20% or 25%. We went through them all over and over again. They were all in there right at that 40 to 43% on that altcoin pullback, just like we saw in 2013 as that top was coming in. So we've been following 2013 all the way up to here. And then as this moment happens, execute the Bitcoin sales, execute the rotation into the altcoins at the 40% pullback like we saw in 2013. And then Bitcoin goes on to break the new all-time high. So it's still, to me, it's a lot of those signs are still pointing towards 2013. And so I'm going to stick with that. All signs point to us having our top coming up in here somewhere between that 68 and that 81. Right in there, that golden zone, maybe 72. And outside of that fractal that you have to compress and make it work to make it get to, a, you know, $200,000. And outside of, you know, a stock to flow model. That's not just what, that's just not what Bitcoin has done in the past. This will be the third repeat of this with a perfect repeat of measured distance and corrective structures in here all mirroring perfectly to say it's going to deviate at the very last second and go significantly higher i just don't that's just not the plan that i can have i have to make sure that i get out of this market with something and a significant amount because i was here throughout the entire bear market and i think anybody who was here throughout the entire bear market and accumulated the bear market and rode from the top of the 2017 bull run will tell you they don't want to do that again <laughs> so expectations are kept in a realistic place for a long time for a very long time people thought these were unrealistic expectations now people think they're unrealistic expectations because we're going to go much higher but uh you know people thought that's never going to happen right that just can't happen but boy it sure came up fast like we always talk it told, we always said it would we always said once it finally comes it's going to come quickly and then well here we are so throughout the weekend throughout the next few days we kind of just expect something just kind of rolling over like that and that would be our indication that alt season's right around the corner as i showed you guys earlier the alt season didn't start just because bitcoin broke out above the all-time high it was a pullback and that consolidation in those levels that really started to send them soaring. So that's what I'll be looking for throughout the next few days. We'll see if that even happens by Monday. Normally, I don't, I've don't. i been trying to avoid making videos on the weekend. So here we go. Happy weekend update on a Saturday. I couldn't I couldn't miss the Bitcoin all-time high after a nearly month-long correction to come on here and talk about it. But as we head into the week, that's what we'll kind of be keeping our eyes on right now. There's no more sitting here talking about Bitcoin worrying. It's all about just sitting back and waiting for our moment to show up and for those altcoins to all disconnect. So I hope that you guys have a fantastic weekend. Happy new Bitcoin all-time high. I don't talk about it very often on my channel, but I do a lot of smoking of meat. So I, I have a smoker in my backyard. It's totally old. It's totally rusted. It's broken. It's got a big hole on the side next to the firebox. It's just totally rusted and garbage. But my wife bought me a new smoker, and I put it together yesterday afternoon. So I'm going to try to smoke some meat today and see what I can whip up. I've been loving to do brisket because it's like the ultimate challenge. 
challenge, but I think I've got it nailed pretty good. So I might give that a try again this weekend. Otherwise, I hope that you guys have a great weekend as well. So I'll wrap this thing up. Exciting time in cryptocurrency. So, all right, if you guys would like, you could check out my website. This is bcbacker.com. I have a bunch of videos on here. This is my course. I deep dive into those previous Bitcoin bull runs and the different altcoin seasons that we've seen. I tie them together to show where they've happened in the past, how we can hopefully apply that to the future. I talk about a lot of my exit plans that I have here, and I talk about a lot of different things like setting up charts, setting up indicators, where to find things within TradingView, talk about rotation, talk about mathematics and percentages. And you can check all of this out over here on bcbacker.com. You can follow me over here on Twitter at bcbacker. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching my channel. If you could, please like this video and give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified of when I create new content and when I go live. As always, this is not investment advice and I am not a financial advisor. But if you ever need a pick me up or a little bit of reassurance, just remember that the blockchain backers got your back. Have a good one.